Well, uh, thank you and uh, good morning. My name is Brendan Watch. I work with uh, Bentley Systems. I work for the building di uh, division, but we also um, deal very heavily with constructors and contractors that work across sort of all divisions of construction, infrastructure, etc. There are a couple of colleagues here based in Ireland who, who are here with me today. I'm based in the UK. Uh, I'd like to talk about, um, very briefly, some of our uh, approaches to specifically mobile applications in the field. Um, you've seen people today outline the challenges that you face already, and I'm, I'm just echoing that. So if you imagine a scenario except where you're going down carrying out site activities, the time taken to, to uh, carry out those activities, the physical act of actually having to carry you know, books, paper, drawings, cameras, rulers, all those kinds of bulky items might actually become a health and safety issue and, and an impact on the stage, on, on, on the site. Issues like, have you got the correct documents? Uh, how, how do you check which information, uh, which items have been installed, etc.? All of these daily routines uh, and bits of information need to be captured accurately without error and omission and without duplicating effect. And you heard people take, talk about the time taken to transpose information from, you know, the, the scrap of paper that the, you know, the contractor had in the back of his pocket that says, I've done this and I've got this issue. Getting that back transposed and communicated with the, the, the people necessary to understand that information is, is time consuming. It's where you're taking a hit. Okay. The systems that you're using, the sites that you're visiting, are you visiting more than one site in a day? The languages and the systems and the, uh, uh, the, the technology used in those sites can be confusing. And we're looking and we're still searching for the emergence of mobile data standards. We haven't got there yet. So my colleagues in the other vendors and ourselves, we're all trying to address these issues and provide solutions that are going to help you do your business better. <coughs> sorry, just need to go back. Um, sorry. A couple of years ago, um, at the request of the government, uh, uh, an organisation was set, was set up to look directly into the use of mobile technology for construction. And they started <laughs> off as a two-year two uh, DTI-sponsored research and development programme. They've been so successful in those two years that they've become heavily uh, treated as a, a centre of excellence. And we have Bentley members of staff that are not only actively uh, uh, involved with collaborating with that organisation, but actually sit on the board. And their role and their task is to look at uh, people such as yourself, engage with you, and look at your issues, look at the technology that might be applied to support those uh, uh, challenges and find solutions with technology, but to, to also incorporate academic rigour to those solutions, to test them, to find them, uh, to, to fully understand what benefits they bring. And then to disseminate the information at, uh, at forums such as this and other places so that you understand what's available to you today. And these are some of the, the, the participants, both in construction and in technology, and some of them are familiar names, and some of them no doubt will become more and more familiar names as the technology and the, uh, the scale of adoption increases over the next few years. And we also have organisations look at academic rigour and industry rigour, such as FIATEC, who sets standards in the, in the oil and gas industries. 
there's a heavy focus within that organisation to look at processes that you guys carry out and what mobile technology can do to either enhance those processes or replace them with new working standards. Okay. We're looking for, for those time savings, we're looking for those business improvements. And what you find is that, uh, um, that um, we've recognised those and you'll see some commonality of those. So I'm going to talk to you, um, or show you some of those solutions as Bentley has, has developed them and understands things so far. So if you just bear with me a second. So Bentley has developed a, a number of, of mobile solutions based on different types of activity. And I'm going to begin with um, our more, uh, a product called Navigator Mobile. And this is a, a product that allows me to take the investment that you've put in, into developing an information-rich model, be, be, be it a composite model, uh, from different sources that you've federated together and, as, and also package up some additional documents such as PDF documents and allows you to take that entire portfolio of information with you on site so that you can do uh, uh, a review, you can walk the client around the site. So if I, if I zoom into a particular start point in this case, I can look at this data rich model, you know, I can click on something in the model, I get all the attribution as you would expect to do that. And this could come from a number of sources, not only Bentley sources. We're very good at dealing with interoperability with other vendors. We have, a, uh, sorry, we have, a, we have tools that allow us to interactively navigate through the, the model if necessary, just using joystick controls, etc. So if you have a, a client or a a worker on site that isn't, you know, computer literate, they've got a, a way of navigating through this. But what we also do is allow you to pull apart the model. So I can take the ceiling out, I can see the systems above the ceiling if necessary, identify those, get business data on those if necessary. But I can also look at system classifications, see what, how systems uh, are organised or, or arranged and that visual s system of, of categorising or analysing the systems will allow you to analyse what's been installed, what's been delivered, you can explain to the client you know, which piece of equipment belongs to which technology system that you've installed so that you understand the building how, how it's put together. What we also have is a product based on standard inspections. Now if we, if we step from construction on site now into owner operation situations where you've been given a portfolio of assets to manage and own and uh, maintain, you're going to be carrying out a series of, of daily tasks that allow you to I do apologise. Okay. Okay, I'll have to come back to that, unfortunately. Another product we have is, is Field Inspector. What this allows me to do is to gather products that are both um, or, or documents that are from different sources, organise them into a logical package and deliver them to the iPad so that I can exploit those documents. So for instance, I have a number of Okay, we're getting a, a little bit of uh, interference with getting to the server. What 
I now have, um, sorry, I also have a remote connection to ProjectWise. ProjectWise is our extranet and collaboration platform. It works to connect different offices and different locations uh, and different collaborators, be they located geographically around the world, but also if they're working in a single, uh, a single office, which is um, a preferred way of working, it will allow them to share documents according to 1192 processes. It has uh, included in it QA processes, audit trails, etc. The normal kind of thing that you would expect from a collaboration tool. <clears throat> and here what I've done is I've downloaded a package of documents from uh, ProjectWise for, for inspection and the local onto the uh, my iPad. And this tells a story of um, uh, our, our London office. We, we recently opened a, a, an office in London and the, um, we went through an exercise where we had a, a room such as this and we wanted to install uh, uh, a ceiling mounted fan, a uh, ceiling mounted projector. And what we did was we, we set up uh, a view of that room in 3D as, a, as an inspection point. Again, it's data rich model so I can click on items and see information about those properties. Do you apologize? There you go. Again, if I wanted to, if I spotted an issue, I could capture a red line about this. And because this is part of our project-wise uh, system, when I capture these red lines, add annotations, again, I can synchronize those back into uh, the, uh, the main collaboration service. And once that document is back into that main collaboration um, entity, um, it's available for other participants to see the markup and to, to then decide what action to do. But what we also have is the ability to make use of the technology inbuilt into here. So if there was a, a QR code on a piece of equipment, I could scan that QR code and again, find out what details from the maintenance system required on that. I could, um, for instance, turn on the accelerator here, and as I move the iPad around, I want to do this without losing my connection. I could then see what should be in a certain location around the room based on the orientation of the iPad. So if you are in on a site and the site is, oops, there we go. Okay, there we go. So again, yeah, I can pick it up. I can move the iPad around. If it's gone, yeah, there we go. And see and reveal information about the, what's going on around me in that position. Now, <clears throat> with apologies for the, the network connection <coughs> issues here, which I did test before, uh, this morning. Okay. Most of those iPad applications are um, available from our website. They're written uh, and distributed and made available to people. Um, so that they can exploit them. Again, it's integrated uh, into the Apple iTunes Store. Now, currently we have applications for the iPad and Apple, but later on this year you're going to see development for uh, Windows and Android applications as well. Yeah. Okay, so when you go to our landing page, you'll see document information about Again. The wonders of running things live off uh, an iPad. Um, oh, where have we lost the projector? I don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think we've, uh, we've hit the limit. Have you, have you cut me off, I understand? Okay. Um, well, with apologies for the technical difficulties, myself and my colleagues, if they if, uh, uh, will be in the Genius Bar area, and we'd love to try and correct the impression that we've probably given you. Okay. Thank you very much for your time.